Right. Good evening, and thank you for coming tonight. Our first three groups are events that played at our state solo and ensemble contest. The first is our woodwind choir. It's going to be a four-movement work. We ask you to hold your applause till the end of the fourth movement. They did receive a Division One at state and did an outstanding job. This is our woodwind choir.
All right, next is our brass ensemble. They also received a high division one at state and are playing quite well these days. Lots of seniors in here. Please welcome our brass ensemble. Thank you. 
All right, and our last small group of the night is our percussion ensemble. All three of our um, mini groups did get uh, division ones of contest, including the percussion. This is our percussion ensemble. It's going to take us just a few minutes to switch over to jazz band, so if you want to stand up and stretch for a moment, feel free.
Sir Jasmine, you know, unless one person looks, I'm not going to say too old, too young to be in there. Um, one of our students, Kobe Schmucker, is sick today, couldn't be here. So I called my wife at 4 o'clock. So she's trying to play a little trombone tonight. It's going to go over well tonight when we get home. I'm sure of that. <laughs> but uh, my wife Stephanie is sitting on our first trombone back there. We'll see how her sight reading skills are tonight. Um, it's our first street jazz ensemble performed in. Three competitions this year, got uh, third place at the Liberty Jazz Festival, got fifth out of nine, 21 at uh, the NEIBA Jazz Festival, um, which just keeps us moving up at all those that we've gone to. And for the third straight year, after going through about a 30 year drought of no division ones, they got a third, third straight division one at state jazz band competition. Lots of great students in here. They've been working at seven o'clock in the morning since the middle of October. Um, they're somewhat ready for that to be done, but we're not quite there yet. Not only do we have a great show tonight, um, for Spring Java, Chad Eby, a graduate of ours from, I said 1991 the other night, for somebody still about 1991, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yes. Is, yes. is that correct? Yes. Excellent, 1991. Yes. It makes him old as well, I think that's how that goes. Tell him that when you see him. Um, but he's come back, he was here a year ago with this quartet, he's coming back by himself to play on Java with us. He's, we're gonna play a bunch of music that he wrote, it's one of the pieces he wrote for us. It's gonna be a lot of fun that night to have him back, once again, great musician and person. So we'll start working on that. But for tonight, we're going to give you a little recap of our big band dance from Saturday, from back at uh, Central Luthan, and we're going to open with a swing tune called Zoot Suit Riot that many of you should recognize.
For our next song, we're going to feature one of our juniors here at Bent Committee, Carter Hayden. He is a three-year All-Stater already, and he's going to sing Feeling Good. Please welcome Carter Hayden.
Instead of the fight, you know how I feel. Oh, freedom, peace of mind, and I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life, it's a new life for me. And I feel. We may have played one too many times, but if two, one too many of these seniors talked to me to do it one more time. We read this a couple years ago, and uh, some of the seniors fell in love with it right away. Others of them are ready to walk out of the room because we're playing it again. You can see this here. How many of you, uh, is this your favorite song in jazz band? Besides Felice Navidad, maybe. And how many of you are ready to like make this the last time you ever play this in your life? <laughs> Very boys versus girls there, wasn't it? That's how that turned out. So uh, this is a Birdland, they love playing it, it's a lot of fun. So we'll close our jazz band set with.
counts again, again, feel free to stand up and stretch for a moment. Section leaders, come on up on stage. Percussion, come on up on stage.
First song the concert band is going to play is called In the Forest of the King by Pierre Laplante. It's in three moments. We ask again that you hold your applause until the end. This is three settings of French folk songs. We'll be performing this as well as the Lightning Field at State Contest next Friday night in Marion.
guys are nosy, you gotta hide things everywhere in this building. Yeah. <laughs> All these wonderful outdoors are coming out. A couple of reminders for you. We have some upcoming meetings um, tonight. The Florida trip meeting will get started as soon as this is, concert is over with. There's also a marching band meeting for next year coming up that you can read in your program. Um, I hope that you take the chance to look at your program. The names of all the previous award winners. A lot of you are going to be related to some of them. and It's kind of fun to look back in history who has uh, won a lot of these awards. Can read this with me? Like we planned it, I promise. <laughs> so um, we're going to give out the people that lettered in band this year. Parents, make them give you these envelopes when we leave tonight because there's pins in there, there's bars in there, there's letters or medals from solo and ensemble contests, certificates, all sorts of things. These are the people that have lettered in band this year. So go ahead and set those down. I'm gonna hand you these. I had these typed up on this cute piece of paper. <laughs> It's on my desk in a very safe place. <laughs> <laughs> so if these people come forward, and we'll just line you guys up across the front of the stage. Our first year letter winners. These are first year letter winners, freshmen. Sophia Carlson, Emily Colby, Samuel Gilbert, Kendra Nice. Macy Schombacher, Anessa Smith, sophomores receiving their first year letter, Tanya Kramer, juniors receiving their first year letter, Paige King, you can use both sides of the stage, uh, Maya Sahu, Olivia Wilson, Seniors receive, and that, let's actually stop there. Give a round of applause for our freshmen through juniors receiving their first student honor. Yeah, you guys can have a seat, thank you. Our seniors receive, we'll wait till they get set down. Seniors receiving their first year letter, Bailey Barnard, Samantha Boyles, Gabby Heiner, Caitlin Halas, Derek Hollister, Shelby Carr, Talon Schneekloff, Jennifer McKinney, and Valerie Say. Those are your all of the remaining first year letter winners. Pictures from mom and dad, and great. You guys can have a seat. <laughs> second year letter winners, starting with our sophomores that are second year letter winners Caitlin Arnold, <coughs> Brianna Howe, Avery King. Chelsea Cruz, Carly McMains, Lauren Wastey, Juniors receiving their this paper would be really convenient right now. <laughs> juniors still receiving their second year letter, Jacob Eiler, Bennett Gorko. Piper LaGrange. Seniors receiving their second year letter, 
Alyssa, yeah, let's have these guys sit down. That's your sophomore and junior second year letter winners. Senior, seniors with their second year letter, Alyssa Dengler, Katie Folkman, Samantha Jones, Stuart Tiedemann, and Brandon Venman. And that is your, I'm not, no, this is not right. I'm close. I don't know where the break off is here. All of your second year letter winners. <laughs> We're home free now. My mom and dad are going crazy out there right now. Uh, third year letter winners, juniors, Joel Crawley, Jacob Heights. Seniors getting their third year letter, Marissa Bischke. Brandon Busher, Patrick Dorco, Sam Lavin, Hannah Miller, Haley Mills, use both sides of the stage, Mariah Niebuhr, Toby Schmucker, who couldn't be here tonight, Nick Thompson. Nathan Wells, and Jonathan Wiley. And that is all of your third year letter winners. <laughs> and we do have no four year letter winners this year, so that is all of our letter winners. Please give a round of applause to all of our letter winners this year. So picture... And we're good. Have a seat. This, I'm going to say this. Um, we're going to give our awards here first. We're going to start with the Woody Herman Jazz Award. I wrote these last night when I was a little emotional, so hopefully I got it out of my system. I, I got to be honest, I've not been looking forward to tonight for a couple of years now. This is a great group of seniors that will truly be missed. Um, here we go. One jazz, award each year is, one jazz Award given each year is the Woody Herman Jazz Award. It was created in 1988, shortly after Herman's death, to honor an outstanding high school jazz student. This year's winner has been a four-year member of our jazz band and an outstanding one at that. He has worked hard for many years to learn the jazz style. He is an extremely talented jazz and classical trumpet player who has dedicated countless hours to getting better and devoting time to the band program. I hear them all talking about who they think this is. <laughs> Beyond his work with the jazz band, he has also served as a section leader for the marching band and the concert band. The first one of this award is one of the most dedicated students with whom I've ever <sighs> Been a rough day. <laughs> They're walking around with their caps and gowns on today, of all things. <laughs> Pick Shelby Carr out of my office, walking around with their cap and gown. This is one of the most dedicated students with whom I've ever had the opportunity to, with which to work. It seems he is in every activity this class to offer. I get this from my mom. <laughs> he excels in everything he does because of his hard work, dedication, outstanding attitude, and kind heart. Uh, he just comes. You grow close to these kids. I'm just this kid as much as any student I've ever had. We have a few of these to go still, too. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating the first winner of the 2018 Woody Herman Jazz Award, Mr. Nick Thompson.
tonight we take the rare opportunity to award the Woody Herman Award for Jazz to two students. You can see this award was given to more than one student just four times in Bend community history, 1998, 99, 2002, and 2004. Well, tonight for the first time in 14 years, it seems more appropriate that we do that again. The second winner of the Woody Herman Award for Jazz has found equal success in our marching concert jazz bands. He's been a three-year section of the jazz band. He works hard to become a great, outstanding jazz musician and trumpet player. He knows what success is and works hard for it. Beyond his work in the jazz band, he has also served as a section leader in the march band and jazz band. He has taken numerous events to solo and ensemble contests every year, participated in numerous honor bands, played in show choir bands, and given us all to make this program a success. Please join me in congratulating the next winner of the 2018 Woody Herman Jazz Award, Mr. Jonathan Wiley. other things in safekeeping on my desk right now. <laughs> the Patrick S. Gilmore Award was awarded in 1994 in honor of the legendary Bayon Mester. Gilmore played for every president of his day, including Abraham Lincoln. This award honors, honors an outstanding high school band student and their achievements and commitment to the band. It is the second of our concert band awards. The 2018 winner of this award is a talented musician, student, and person. They worked hard for four years to make themselves and this band better. They have seen but nothing but growth as a person and as a leader. They have been active in show choir band, jazz band, pep band, march band, concert band, and solo and ensemble festival. To be a drum major in this band and have to put up with me takes a special kind of person. I admired her work from the very first, our very first year together. Not only does she have talent, but she has charisma, passion, heart, and everything it takes to lead. They were safe, weren't they? I could have left my teaching career fulfilled this year on October 20th. This is our last home football game and last marching band performance. And the last time she was drum major of the band. When the band, ah, I gotta tell you this story, it's good. When the band was about one minute from the end of the show, the tears started rolling from her and then from me. And then the smile glowed on her face. It was tears of joy, tears of happiness, tears saying, I will miss this. For me, it was how did I ever get so lucky to teach students like these at my community. I love what I do, and people like her are the reason why. As a teacher, a musician, and most importantly as a person, I can say from, the, from my heart that her shoes will not be easily filled and she'll be missed by, greatly missed by many people. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 winner of the Patrick Gilmore for band, Ms. Haley Mills. Like the Woody Herman Award, you can also see in your program that the Patrick Gilmore Award has been given out to multiple recipients four times in its history here at Bend Community. For the first time in 12 years on this one, it's time to do it again. We have 26 seniors this year and a lot of wonderful people. The second recipient of the Patrick Gilmore Award has been a four-year member of the Marching Band and Concert Band, been extremely active with solo and ensemble contest, and participated in numerous honor bands. Last week we interviewed for next year's section leaders, and one question I asked almost every candidate was, who is one leader in the band program that you have looked up to in your time here, and why? Two names came up time and time again. First one might not surprise you, Matthew Boss. The other name that was so frequently mentioned was this student. She is an extremely talented musician and great person. She has served in every role from band member to section leader to drum major. She cares as much about it as any student I know. She is dedicated to what she does and takes everything she does seriously without resting until it meets her expectations. 
I've had the opportunity to watch her make the All-State Choir, earn first chair numerous times at honor bands, receive straight division once every solo contest, and earn best of center at solo contest. She was deserving of every single one of these honors. Please join me in congratulating the next winner of the 2018 Patrick Gilmore Award for Band, Miss Mariah Neighbor. Now to our top jazz award. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was inaugurated in 1974 with the consent of his widow shortly after the great jazz artist died in 1971. It honors the top jazz musician at each school. This year's winner has been a four-year member of the jazz band and has devoted a great deal of time to it. In four years, they have rarely if ever missed a rehearsal. They have worked hard for years to truly understand the jazz style and lead the band the best way they know how. The drive they have to be the best they can be is second to none. Beyond his work in jazz band, he has also served as a section leader in the marching band for three years and concert band for three years. He has played in numerous honor bands and received many strong reviews of his performances at Solo Mount Summit Contest. This band will miss him as a drummer next year, but I will miss him as a person even more. His work ethic and attitude will be missed. He is a great person and a well-deserving recipient of this award. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 winner of the Louis Armstrong Top Jazz Musician, Mr. Patrick Gorka. The last one. Introduced in 1955 with the support of the Sousa family, the John Philip Sousa Award was started to recognize the top musician in the high school band. The award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. This year's winner certainly meets these criteria. They have been a four-year member of the Walmart Conference Honor Band, member of the Dorian Honor Band, Neva Honor Band, and others. They have taken numerous events to the state solo ensemble, receiving many Division I ratings. They have been a section of the marching band, jazz band, and concert band. They have played in show choir band, magical band, and numerous brass ensembles. Finally, he was selected as first alternate for the 2017 Iowa All-State Band, an enormous honor. To show his level of musicianship, he taught himself the electric bass. When that, that was no longer enough of a challenge, he asked about the upright bass. We bought one, and one week later, he performed it at a jazz band competition. He works unbelievably hard as an incredible musician, an even better person. To a great musician, a great person, and a wonderful man. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 winner of the John Philip Sousa Award, Mr. Sam Levin. At this point, I'm going to have the rest of our seniors come up here. Gabby Heiner, Samantha Jones, Shelby Carr, Katie Folkman, Alyssa Dangler, Melanie Say, Brandon Busher, Brandon Veneman, Caitlin Loss, Corbin Deveni, Stuart Tiedemann, Marissa Bischke, Nathan Wells, Bailey Bernard, Derek Hollister, Talon Schneekloff, and Samantha Boyles. I did some quick looking during conferences tonight at some things that have happened since this senior class got here. When this, when this class got to high school, it was the first time the band received a Division I rating in many, many years for concert band. They continued the streak of March Band Division I's and have only received 
division ranks in marching band. For the past three years, they've received division ones at jazz band. The band had not won a marching band competition before this class got to high school, and since then they won at Muscatine four times, while Sika once, Mount Pleasant twice, unbelievable numbers of best drum line, best brass, best woodwinds, best guard, best drum majors. There is truly a ton of talent on stage. We will absolutely miss them. But because of them, I think the band will be even stronger next year, and I truly believe that because of the level they've raised this band to. The band was 86 people on the field this year. We currently have 101 signed up for band next year. And that's because of what these people have done. Dr. Prusha often says that we'll plant seeds that we may never see the final growth of, and these students have certainly planted seeds here at Bed Community that will be around for many, many years to come. They are just truly wonderful people. I will miss them dearly. I, I can't say that enough times. I want to read something that I've edited each year, but I think pertains every year. Remember that very moment when you knew you wanted to join band, and how you didn't know how to put your instrument together or how to hold it. Remember playing your first note, and we thought eighth notes and quarter rests were scary. You can now double and triple tongue and play all of your scales. Memorize. Now you're a musician. You don't play notes on paper, you play music. You're more capable than what you know. Now you've been to honor bands and solo contests and have actually gotten somewhere. Remember the very moment when you decided you wanted to be a marching man, and then how very quickly you changed your mind because you thought you couldn't do it. And you spent days debating whether or not you should do it. Remember how it was hot and you kept on in the sun because you loved it. You strived to get better, you did. Do you remember that first step you took in the first performance? Do you remember your first competition? And you felt as if your band was a family, a whole. Whatever the score, you, you all got it together. If you lost, you laughed and cried on the way home. If you won, you laughed and cried on the way home. <laughs> Remember the first time your section leader asked you, are you okay? Because they knew you weren't. But you said yeah, because you didn't want them to worry. Remember how it got cold, and then it got colder, and then it got colder, and then the end of the season here. And now you're cheering up, or at least I am, and the end is near. They, st they stood on the stage, I I'm a side note here, because I meant to mention this, at the start of the season, and almost these very spots, with the freshmen and sophomores, juniors out here talking about what, what band meant to them over those four years. And to hear how an experience like this can change their lives at Benton Community is, is so heartwarming for me as a teacher. You never thought you would love this band so much. They marched with you, ate with you, took trips with you, and cared for you, all through lots of tears and sweat. You never knew what pomp and circumstance would bring. You will want it to last forever, unlike every other year you've played it, because it is part of your whole, and you love that. But you will go on, and I know you'll be successful. You will make me and all of us proud of you. We hope you'll look back on this trip that we've all taken together with great fondness, that you have learned from it, that you'll be more successful because of it, that we always know not only that we were your family, but that we always will be. That's my daughter out there, actually. <laughs> hey, Sophie. <laughs> I care about you all. I love each and every one of you. I'll miss you all. I wish you nothing but the brightest and best for your future ahead. Thank you for everything you've done for this band. And selfishly, thank you for everything you've done for me. So when I had my script, they had the award winners that we've already announced this year come up front. So that was Kobe Schmucker who won the Marching Pride Award, Jennifer McKinney who won the Color Guard Award, and then Hannah Miller who had won the Color Guard Award. But because I didn't have my sheet, I didn't have that come up front, and then they didn't get introduced with the seniors either. So Jennifer McKinney and Hannah Miller, of course, to their seniors. <laughs>
All right, so this is uh, kind of our chance to take the mic here and just to thank Mrs. Lampkin and Dr. Williamson uh, for everything that they've done for us. They have put in countless hours just trying to make us better musicians, but most importantly, better students and, and better people. And uh, we know that we are way better off because of these two individuals. And uh, we would like to thank them for all of their hard work and the six years or three years that they have put in for us. And we would like to present them this. So to say thank you to you guys and to the band program as a whole, to everyone, have a gift. <laughs> Last year we got an air horn and we still use it. <laughs> so this is made up of a lot of little tiny pictures of the last four years of marching band and concert band and jazz band and pet band and band in general um, of us and of the people that came before us and um, the people on stage here. Um, so from the last four years, lots of little memories to remember us by and to remind everybody that we are, oh, I thought it was falling. We are <laughs> the Bobcat family, Bobcat Pride, and Bobcat Band. We do still have one more song. This is Lightning Field. It's short, it's fun, it makes thunder noises, there's thunder tubes, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. Thank you for coming tonight, thank you for a great year. Lots of uh, spring concerts coming up here at all levels, hope you can join us for several of those.
All right. Um, we're obviously not at the concert. We have this Florida meeting coming up. Um, we're going to let, I'm sure there's some choir parents out in the hallway. We're going to flip this around in about five minutes here. We're just going to take the chairs off stage, leave everything else, and get uh, the people from Bob Rogers Travel here. So give us about five minutes, and we'll be ready. Band, don't jump.